Hi everybody, it's Rob here at Cultivator Management. I hope you're all doing safe and well. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my minimalist kind of everyday carry. Now, there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon that we will eventually, finally, at last, make it back into the office. And I don't know about you, but I, for one, I'm really missing that human interaction, that interaction that comes from talking to people and listening to people and seeing people face to face, and that sense of the energy that comes from people getting together to achieve stuff. Now, of course, I work in an office, of course, there are people who are putting their lives on the line every single day, and for that, I'm very grateful. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my everyday carry as a manager. So let's start with the bags themselves. I actually flip between two different bags, one a leather satchel and then the other one an Osprey rucksack. Now the reason I have two bags is it a lot depends really on the context in which I find myself in. If I'm doing a client meeting for example then I'll take this leather satchel which I think was originally from John Lewis but I'll pair this with like a you know smart outfit, something that actually exudes presence so to speak. But if I'm actually taking lots and lots of stuff or I'm actually traveling or I'm just feeling like actually I just need something a bit more comfortable then this Osprey rucksack is absolutely brilliant I mean it's amazing it's super comfortable loads of different pockets it's actually the Quasar model there's loads of different Osprey rucksacks available but this really ticks all the boxes so let's move on to the tech itself now I work in the sort of consulting arena I do a lot of coaching with managers and technology companies on how to become more agile so I don't need a huge amount of technology but I did invest in this 2019 MacBook Pro and it ticks all the boxes got this lovely little touch bar which actually frankly I don't use that much I really like the keyboard for typing on I write a lot of books so that's helpful and useful it's mega powerful super lightweight now, of course, it comes with the challenge of not being able to connect without lots of dongles, which we'll come to in a minute. Now, I have upstairs an iMac, which I use for video editing, and this little thing is my portable. I use lots of different tools like AirDrop, which is built into the Mac, Evernote, and Google Drive, and Dropbox for those synchronization of the files. Now, of course, gadgets require all sorts of connectivity, and I always tend to carry an anchor charger. This little thing is brilliant. I use it really for charging my mobile phone. I've got a little USB plug that folds out nice and neat with two USBs so I could charge things. Of course there's a clicker um, so I can you know do my presentations and then you've got headphones and of course you're gonna need some sort of dongle for the MacBook and this one's pretty good it's got HDMI on there and then of course there's a charger for the camera which we'll come on to in a minute. Now they all go into this tiny little black I think it was originally a toiletry bag from IKEA I think it was like $1.99 and it's been wonderful they all fit in there nicely I sometimes have to take a few more charges but actually that's mostly it let's move on to stationery now I'm a huge fan of stationery in fact I run a podcast with Helen Lazowski called stationery freaks where we talk about stationery and the sort of potential that it unleashes the way to disconnect from the digital world I'm a big fan of using stationery at work because I think it's less intrusive than having your laptop open in meetings and of course you're able to actually make notes using your own brain about what you've heard rather than merely transcribing what people have said. Now my pen of choice is the Pentel Energel 07. The reason being is it just sort of writes on everything. It's got a wonderful little texture. It's really good for sort of doodling and drawing little notes within meetings or actually explaining concepts on paper. It very rarely misses a beat. You don't have to keep going over the text, although I am here just to sort of make it a bit more bold. And the best thing is these are super cheap. You can find them in most supermarkets, Amazon, of course, and most stationery shops. It's a wonderful little pen, just fits in nicely into the pocket very very smooth to write with so next up is a basic parker fountain pen i mean this thing is super cheap i think it was like four pound and the ink you know i think the ink's not too bad at all now i never used to really like fountain pens but actually they allow me to slow down in a sense so i use the fountain pen really for that sort of slower methodical writing now this might be you know writing out a business strategy or a plan or actually I sometimes use it to write chapters of books. Because I'm slowing down, it gives my sort of brain a little bit more time to process things. But obviously if I'm writing lots of notes uh, super fast, then I'm gonna use the Energel because it's just a little bit neater and it's a little bit easier to write with. 
Now for me, my paper of choice is a Concept A4 yellow legal pad, and I use them mostly for meeting notes, storyboards, ideas. I carry them around with me at work and I just sort of go through them. You can rip pages out, you can sort of doodle all over, you can use the backs as well. So I use them a lot for meeting notes and I use something called the Cornell method, which is where you draw a line down the side, probably slightly neater than this, and you make all of the notes from the meetings in the left hand side. You know, all the things that people have said, maybe the attendees, maybe some of the notes. And then over on the right hand side is where you can put actions and information points or follow ups or new ideas that sort of spurn from that main piece on the left. Now the Cornell note taking method is not the only one, there are loads out there. I'd encourage you to experiment and find the one that works for you. But for me that's what I use A4 yellow legal pads for, writing, getting notes in there, doodles, task lists and drawing pictures, all sorts of different stuff. I mean, I tend to doodle mostly during meetings, mostly about how to escape from them, because frankly, meetings generally tend to be a waste of time. But the A4 yellow legal pad, I like it because it's it's got a big space. It's got a lot of area for me to sort of draw and I can sort of rip the pages out and it doesn't matter. It's not a neat book like a moleskin where I feel like I have to be a little bit more precise and a little bit neater with what I'm doing. So my portable everyday notebook is this little Oxford Mini. Wonderful little thing, it's got really nice paper texture and this paired with the Enigel, really, really, really quite good. Now the reason I like it is it's super carryable. I can literally just slip this in my pocket. What do I use it for? I use it for notes, I use it for observations, I use it for ideas and tasks. Just things that I see as I walk around, as I interact, as I sort of go about my day. I can just whip this out, make a few notes, and then move those into whatever system I've got later on. Now I'm a huge fan of using pencils, usually to sort of do doodles and drawings, and my pencil of choice is this super cheap Staedtler Norris. I mean, this is like five pound for like 20 from stationery shops or supermarkets. It just works. It's got a real nice hold to it. I like the way that it actually uh, comes out onto the A4 yellow legal pads particularly. You can just rattle through these, they're just super usable with a sharpener and an eraser, you're good to go. To carry it all, I use this pencil case, something small and minimalist. I, you know, I work with people who've got like five or six different pencil cases with colours and pens and highlighters and all sorts of stuff. That's just not me, I'm trying to carry as little as possible. Now this wonderful little pencil case, it holds those small amount of stationary items. So management is the art of noticing, it's about seeing the world around you, about how people behave and interact and for me photography is one of those wonderful things that enables you to learn how to see the world around you, to understand how to compose something, to tell a story, to spot and notice things that most people would just simply ignore. Now for me I use this little Ricoh GR, it's a full APS-C size sensor which is basically pretty good. It's proper pocket sized, I mean this thing can slide into my jeans pocket no problem at all. It's a wonderful little camera. It's got full manual control so you can change almost anything on it. Now it's a fixed 28mm with no zoom so basically you know if you want to zoom you're going to have to use your feet. But this thing takes some cracking pictures, really wonderful little camera to use. And like I say, the art of noticing, the art of seeing the world around you and spotting things and observing things and really paying attention is really what management is about. Now this camera doesn't come with Wi-Fi, I mean this is a pretty old camera. There's a new model out now, the Ricoh GR3, which has Wi-Fi and touchscreen and all sorts of cool stuff. Apparently it's a bit of a beast of a camera, so one day maybe I'll upgrade, but for me this one works just fine and I pair it with an iFi card so I can transfer to my phone and upload to Instagram. Now we've covered a lot of stuff that I might carry in my bag, but here we're going to talk about on-person carry, the things that I actually carry with me. Now first off, obviously a wallet, it's a little leather wallet like this, I've had it for years, wonderful little thing from John Lewis, does the job. And of course there's the iPhone as well, I use an iPhone 10, and there you can see my Instagram feed where I share some of the pictures taken with obviously the Ricoh GR. And for me, the mobile phone, I just wanted something simple, it had to be sort of part of the Apple ecosystem so I could do that airdrop and basically just use the same accounts across everything and the iPhone 10 fabulous little thing so let's move on to reading you see for me everyday carry isn't just about being productive getting things done it's also about learning so for me 
It's about reading as well. So when I get a bit of downtime on a client's site or I'm working in a business, I read this wonderful little book called Growing a Business by Paul Hawkin. It's a fairly old book written in the 80s and it's really about mail order catalogs and how to build a business. So there's a little bit of sort of removing the mail order and moving it more onto maybe the web based or whatever your business is. I bought this book from Amazon quite a long time ago and as you can see, I filled it full of all sorts of stuff. What was interesting when you buy a secondhand book is they sometimes have little doodles in them. And in this one right at the front, it says to Todd, made this nurture the seed love dad and that was 1995 I often wonder where Todd is I mean what's he up to did this seed grow into something amazing is he running his own business or really thoroughly enjoying life now this book is full of wonderful lessons on management It's full of how to build a business that puts the customer at the heart and as you can see as I go through I have no problem with highlighter pen and scribbling in the margins it's just a brilliant book and I try to revisit that as much as possible so there you have it, that's what I have in my everyday carry. I've got the technology, I've got the notepads, I've got the pencils, and obviously the dreaded charger. I've got a camera for noticing, because that's really what management is about, and a book for reading, and obviously my iPhone and my wallet, which the iPhone's not in this picture because I'm filming on it. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've covered some tech and some stationery and all sorts of other things in there. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, then please do consider it, and very much looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, cheers.